Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. This package was sent by USA Made Blade. If you're not familiar with USA Made Blade, I'll have links in the description. You should definitely check them out. They carry, as you might guess, USA made blades and uh, they've got some awesome stuff there. So um, if I remember the conversation with Scott Whittington of USA made blade correctly, this was meant to be a secret. So I have absolutely no idea what's in this box, but I expect it's something very cool. Thanks to Scott for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Just an unboxing today, not a review, um, but uh, I am excited to find out what this is and share it with everybody. Presumably, it's available. So, <laughs> that's usually the case. So I'm trying to keep these peanuts from going everywhere. They, uh, they can't tell you. Know, well, I, we failed. Oh, now hold on just a moment here. This this box certainly looks familiar. Do we have any, do we have any indicators here? No, never mind. I, I thought it was a hinderer box. This is Nichols knives. Well, it's made in the USA. <laughs> Who could have guessed? Let's move this other. I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued. What do we? <laughs> oh boy, that's uh, yeah, that's real nice. I like that. Very cool. <laughs> wow, Scott, they really nailed you. They just lifelike. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we. Oh boy, oh boy, look at this. NNK Dreadnought in Magna Cut. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look. What a cool looking knife. I have a feeling I know what the blade profile is going to be. Oh, look at this. That is, I believe it's done by laser there. Very cool. Very cool. Nice large fastener. Nice titanium, titanium pocket clip. So this is undoubtedly going to be a small batch USA item. So this is going to be expensive. Don't expect to see pricing like you would see from Wii knives or anything like that. Um, it just, it costs a lot more money to make stuff like this, but I will familiarize myself with uh, all of this for the review. Um, but you can see there's some social media information there. Uh, very cool. So we have Magna Cut and Titanium. Oh yeah. Very, very nice. <laughs> nice cleaver profile there. Very, very sharp. Oh, ooh, that's Bitey. Hold on a second. Uh, sometimes, some knives, they get that last little bit of the apex and it is so unbelievably sharp. Where's my notepad? I know the paper cut test doesn't prove anything, but there, you, you can feel it. Even if it's just for the satisfaction of doing it, you can feel it. I'm just trying to just barely, yeah. Oh, that edge is just supremely bitey. Ridiculous. Holy moly. All right. Uh, Magna Cut USA. Beautiful stone wash finish. This is my absolute favorite when they do like high reflectivity and then like a heavy media wash um, on the blade. It just looks really, really good. So we have, I believe, feels like bearings. Yeah. And then can you get at the fuller for the reverse flick. Oh, yes, you can. Very cool. We've seen this profile many times, right? The handle profile isn't anything specifically unique, and the blade profile also is not specifically unique, but it is cool to see them combined with a, you know, a, a total, like a U.S. Uh, small batch uh, sort of configuration here. Um, that's the wrong word. We do have a steel lock bar insert, which is honestly kind of surprising. A lot of knives in this tier um, don't have them. Um, so it's nice to see that we actually do have that. And honestly, the lockup geometry looks really good. Just going to feel that out for, oh yeah, completely and totally solid. No stick or anything like that. And the detent is also very, very nice. Let me show you guys real quick. Yes, very, very nice and absolutely perfect centering. We have just a touch. It's just right there. A little tiny bit of double clutch. If I Bring my thumb back as far as I can and then release. It still wants to kick back up. 
So I would, I personally would prefer that that detent ball was moved just a little bit. So by the time that that flipper tab reaches my thumb, and it's only for people who like to disengage and close knives with one hand, right? Um, I would prefer that that detent ball was already up on the face of the blade by the time we get there, but that's that's really okay. Um, the action is smooth but tight, and usually what happens there is once the detent ball wears that track into the face of the blade, it gets incredibly smooth without sacrificing solidity. So that is nice. If this were a combination guillotine with double clutch, right? That would be a little bit more of a problem, but no, it's nice and it's smooth. It's just, it's going, it's one of those knives that's going to break in. Something that I really appreciate is this area right here, right there. That cutout is done beautifully. This is how everybody should be doing this on a titanium frame lock. This side is cut out just a little bit uh, versus the other side in order to allow better access to this so that instead of pushing your finger down and over, which is annoying to me, we can just push directly over. And this area right here is very nicely, just it's not a ledge, it's not like a sharp 90 degree angle. It's a very smooth, very easy to access area. So even though there is a little bit of double clutch there, it's honestly very easy to disengage. Uh, the pocket clip is a bit long for me and it, the bill is, not really point. I think it's really just overall, it's, it's the clip is just very long. Do we have milling for both sides? No. We have a lanyard hole and the pocket clip is resting on top, which is fine. Um, not a milled clip. Holy moly, the retention on that is ridiculous. Wow, real stiff. Okay. Very cool. Let's go ahead and measure it. The length here, let's take a look. Where's my, there it is. Overall length is coming in at seven point. Oh man, I thought it would be eight inches. It just it just has such a larger preference. Seven point six five inches overall blade length is coming in at from the tip to the middle of the scale about three point three. You could measure it down here larger. If you measured at the bottom, you could say three and a half. But the cutting edge factually is three point two five inches. Let's do some size comparisons up against knives that are fairly similar in overall size. The uh, Ritter Hogue, the Benchmade Group Tillinger in this case, the Ritter Hogue. Let's do the Demco AD 20.5. Very, very similar uh, in overall size to the Demco AD 20.5. What's some other ones here? Maybe let's do like the Spyderco Para 3. And what else do I have out here? Sure, let's do the, um, the Microtech MSI. And how about a budget knife? See Jerby Pyrite. There we go. Cool stuff. Okay. This knife will get its own full length review uh, a few weeks down the road. In the meantime, I will leave links down in the description for this knife. I don't know if this is the only configuration that you can get or if there are multiple configurations, um, but it does appear to be made very, very well. It doesn't seem like a sloppy USA build or like, you know, the person who made it doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, no, it's actually very, very nice. Um, but after I've had some time with it, I will give you guys my thoughts in the full length review, but that's going to be pretty much it today. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.